During a hurricane, high winds apply extreme pressure on houses, pushing walls and pulling roofs. Houses which are not built properly might lose their roof or collapse. Wooden houses can be safe when faced with hurricane-forced wind only if they are built properly, respecting hurricane-resistant techniques. To have a hurricane-resistant wooden house, the following steps should be taken when building. Your house should have a square or rectangle shape. The veranda needs to be disconnected from the main structure and the veranda roof separate from the main roof as a precaution against the wind. The foundation are strip foundation, two feet deep, 18 inches wide. The steel cage is composed of half inch steel bar for the mat and three eight inch steel bar for the stirrups. Make sure the steel cage is not touching the ground. Put two inches spacers. The wall bars are made with half inch steel bar and half inch threaded rods, placed one every other rod, with a distance of 16 inches between each rod. The concrete is a 1 to 4 mixture, 1 cement, 2 sand, 4 gravel. While casting the footing, make sure to vibrate the concrete and check the thickness. Generally, 3 rows of blocks are needed to be above ground, depending on the ground level. When the blocks are up, you need to fill the pocket with concrete. Make sure you ram the concrete to make it compact and resistant. The corner's pocket will be filled with concrete after the house is complete. To infill, you need to compact layers of hearth. Make sure to wet it first to make the compacting more effective. It's important to check the thickness of concrete that you will have to cast. In this case, you need 4 inches of concrete for the ground slab. Place the BRC fabric mesh and make sure to overlap by 2 squares. The base plates are bolted to the foundation every 32 inches with washer and nut to fasten the wooden structure onto the foundation. The ground slab is 4 inches thick. The BRC fabric mesh is placed in the middle of it. Make sure to vibrate the concrete while casting. The finishing could be a steel float finish, depending on the use of the slab. Yeah. 
In each corner, the posts are made with 4x4 and two 2x4 nailed against it. A J-bolt is screwed at the bottom of each post. The J-bolt is linked to the corner wall bar to anchor the post into the foundation. It will be cast in the concrete only after the house is complete. The top plates are nailed on top of the post. The uprights are fixed every two feet on center and doubled around windows and doors. The windows and doors weaken the structure. Therefore, the uprights need to be reinforced. To withstand the forces of winds, the walls should be braced in each corner with cross and diagonal bracing. The top plates are doubled to carry out a belt. The hurricane straps are screwed to each element linking the whole structure. The roof is a gable roof with a 30 degree slope. The slope should be between 30 and 45 degree to resist the pressure of wind on the roof. If the ridge beam has to be joined, it needs to be joined in the middle and supported by a post. The post is supported by beams passing across and resting on the walls. Posts are reinforced with bracing. The rafters are fixed every two feet on center. The heaves should be short, measuring 8 to 12 inches, which will reduce any advantage given to strong winds. There are two kinds of hurricane straps, the squared and the twisted. Use hurricane straps to connect the top plate to the rafters and the rafters to the ridge beam. They reinforce the connection of the roof with the structure. Clinker boards are stronger, more resistant to strong winds and more appropriate for building a wooden house. Make sure there are no space between them to keep water from entering the house. The most appropriate 
to cover the rafters are boards. They withstand high winds better. In some cases, it's faster to put plywood. Be sure to put nails every 8 inches to reduce the risk of galvanized being lifted. The lats are fixed every 2 feet, except at the bottom of the roof, where the space is 1 foot. The heaves are exposed to plenty of wind. Therefore, there need to be two lats very close at the bottom. The galvanized sheet should overhang two inches from the fissure board and should overlap two corrugation to reduce the risk of leaking. The galvanized sheets are nailed or screwed every corrugation at the bottom and top and every other corrugation in the main part. To reduce the risk of lifting up, it's better to fix fissure capping on the sides. The rich caps are nailed last on top of the roof. The window sill should be slanted for water to run out. The J bolt is cast when the house is complete to make sure the concrete will get resistant and the post to be properly connected to the foundation. Each element is attached together using hurricane straps. Hurricane straps connect the ridge beam to the rafters, the rafters to the top plates, the top plates to the uprights, the uprights to the base plate, and the base plate to the foundation with bolts and nuts. The entire structure is tied together from top to bottom for an overall resistance to hurricane forced winds. The Red Cross train more builders in the use of hurricane resistant techniques to build safer wooden houses for a better life. Apply the building techniques today.